Hello everyone, this is Peter Stone. I am currently live here in Thailand and I occasionally peek at the happenings on the other side of the world. Uh, and I don't want to look too deep uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, so when I say that, uh, I say that with an, a view kind of from the outside. And when you see the title or subject matter of this Facebook Live, it really is about mind management. Our thoughts, our words, and how we... Uh, generate energy or positive energy. Uh, we can generate energy, but we want to make sure that energy is uplifting positive energy and that it is at least, number one, affecting us, right? As we uh, engage in our day, we may uh, go in a direction that doesn't make us maybe feel good or doesn't bring on uh, the sunshine in a cloudy day uh, or it doesn't uh, bring good feelings to the moment. So it's up to us to make a choice. Uh, some uh, are okay and I got to say that's kind of like wallowing in this stuff but I through my life have decided and made decisions that I don't like to feel um, uh, less than lifted up or less than positive. And my energy, when it's down, no matter what my mind says, I know through practice, through, through doing things that I don't really want to do, uh, or didn't want to do and realize the results. Uh, I mean, I just took a bike ride. It was maybe 8.30 at night, beautiful moon out, uh, magical clouds kind of in and out with the moon and just, just beautiful. Uh, and because um, I was exercising every day, uh, doing a swim, riding my bike pretty hard, uh, working with some weights, and pushing myself. That is self-generating. So I could say a week ago, I did some quarantine, and I can tell you, in a hotel, the food isn't always the way I would eat it or have it. Uh, and they give you, you know, a standard fare which is not conducive to um, health and well-being in my mindset. I don't know where the food's coming from. Uh, I mean, it tasted good, but I still don't know the source. So in order to be fully energized and empowered, and at that uh, hotel, I could use the gym. The swimming pool was closed. I could go out in the garden. I could move around. I could kick. I could twist. I could bend. But that... I mean, that lifted my energy and, and gave me strength and pumped me up a bit. But it's not what I usually do to get a little strength and stamina and momentum. Because when I um, ride my bike and I ride it in a power, power fashion and I swim and I don't just swim slowly from one end to the other. And, and I respect that and there's a place for that. And I just... I just leverage the moment. If I'm going to be in the water, I'm going to spend my time. I want to be full on and using all that I got to, to put stress on it and use it and engage in it. And by doing that, I build a, an inner strength, an unknown inner strength. And, like last night, I didn't want to ride my bike. And the night before, I didn't want to ride my bike. Uh, but I realized, I mean, I bumped my arm today, and it's strong. It's strong. Again, it's like, uh, I've, it's solid. 
So maybe that wasn't the case in some of the last months, uh, being on planes, driving a lot. And I mean, I did exercise and stuff, but just not enough. Uh, playing the CV game and uh, being in the Q Club and, and all that stuff that I uh, am writing about, actually. Uh, it's really, oh my God, like five flights to try to get back to Thailand. Two get back to Thailand. There was no trying. I attempted, f f on the fifth flight, I made it here uh, successfully. So that that kind of sapped a little bit of my energy and uh, took away doing things like figuring out how I can get a COVID test in the X amount of time before I get on the plane and make sure that it's good. Uh, it created a little bit of stress, right? I mean, trying to do all this timing and I mean, it was crap, but it had to be done. And I'm bouncing back and forth between Massachusetts and Florida by choice, really. But, but, but really not by choice because I didn't choose to be in Florida in May. Uh, it, it wasn't in my plan at all. Uh, but it was the best place to be at the time. So I did what was best. And, and it's just the way it is. But... When we're doing the things that we don't necessarily want to do, we've got a choice of how we approach it. Do we approach it like joyfully with, with a way that, well, I'm going to do it. I just got to do it. So I'll do it and I'll do it happily and I'll do it just like in the moment without uh, you know, kind of a whining attitude or a, or a like complaining attitude that I have to do this thing. Like, uh, the fifth flight, it took me five flights to get back to Thailand. I mean, I didn't necessarily want that, but what I knew was it was the best thing for me. Why? I don't know, but eventually it showed up because it was pretty hot here in August uh, and September, and it rained a lot. And I don't appreciate really humid, uh, kind of sticky, uh, rainy weather. That's not conducive to uh, feeling uh, at your best. So there's always an upside, always an upside. And that's what I've learned. My biggest lesson is to find that energy no matter how I feel I know that if I get on my bike even if I'm feeling like as down I don't really feel down but I just like I don't want to do it I know one thing I never feel the same after I get off my bike than before I get on my bike I never feel the same after I get out of the swimming pool, like I did before I got it, uh, got to the swimming pool. The same with a jet ski. I never feel the same before a jet ski ride thinking, well, you know, maybe I really don't want to do that today. Uh, but that's also in business and travel because I know what, so for example, I've been living my life two, three weeks. I know what I've been doing, doing kind of this and doing this and doing the same kind of thing. And an opportunity comes. I have a choice to keep doing the same things and getting kind of, you know, same results if, if it's a results oriented, oriented situation or I'm just living and I want more out of my life. And I say, whoa. I have this opportunity to do this thing. I don't really want to do it, but I know it's good for me because after a week of maybe hopping on a plane, going someplace or in my car or going to see somebody or doing something where an opportunity comes up and I think, well, I don't really want to do that. I do it because I know I always learn this discovery. It's the adventure because I know where I am every day. I know what I'm doing. I know where I am. Yeah, I'm going to have some little 
things I'm going to learn and some lessons I might read in a book or whatever, or a quiet moment. But it's a different thing. Th those moments will always be there. So I know that's kind of a plateau or a platform I can operate on or I do operate on. But what I, what I really find the value in, it's really some people call it going the extra yard, the extra mile, whatever that is. Is, is just going over that horizon. You don't know what's there, but you know it's something a little special. And you probably should do it. If you don't do it, you'll probably regret it because you'll never know what or who you might meet or what you might do. So when the mind is not in the best of places, uh, I just get a little bit of a vibe that on the other side of the world and in some countries around the world, things aren't as uh, positive or as um, the vibes aren't as high as and, and in a useful place where they, they could, and I'm going to say in this case, should be. But, you know, who knows what should be? Because maybe we need a... Uh, for whatever reason, we need to uh, be silent for a while and and slow down and find out about ourselves. Uh, but in all of that, I just say, find the upside. Sculpt your mind, sculpt your words, generate energy. Do your best to feel your best by movement. And don't let the less than useful, the N-word, the negative word, negativity get in your way. It's okay if it jumps there for a little bit, but don't allow it to stay and, and, and run your day. Don't do that because it stacks up and you can dig a deep hole that is really painful. It's almost like procrastination. The more we put off anything, the more difficult, the, the, the thought is heavier than the action. Hugely heavier than the action. I think all of us know this. I'm not really telling anyone anything they don't know, but I am reminding, and sometimes people haven't practiced enough to know, to to get enough energy, and they're kind of in a, in a moping state. I know uh, with my nutritional supplements and my foods that if, if I am not balancing my nutritional needs up, I know it. If I miss something in the morning, I'm like, man, I don't have the energy that I, I, do, I usually do today. What is it? And when I think back, uh, food, perhaps, nutritional supplements, herbs uh, that I take that help generate vibrancy and energy and give me some strength and positivity, no matter what's going on, okay? Uh, you just choose your state and things go around you and separate yourself from them. Or if you choose to dive into them, then look for the seed of opportunity because there always is one someplace. So I just wanted to share a moment where it may be useful to uh, take a step up and don't get pulled down in the moment. Just don't. And um, I've been so far down that I looked up to see the bottom. And quite frankly, I never want to get in that place again. I won't. Uh, and for sure, if I start like feeling a little bit off, and I, the surroundings, the energy, I have to move. I have to move. I got to get out of the space. And then I have to get in a higher vibration. 
Uh, and you have to be very careful about the people you're around, the areas you're around, uh, and, and don't get sucked into energetic fields that don't support you. Just don't. It, it, it's very dangerous and, 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 it, and it hurts. <laughs> and it hurts. So, so you, you have the choice and please choose uh, to, to enjoy your day. And, and sometimes it takes more work. Uh, but after a while, if you're not used to living on an upper energy, then then please try some effort and put some effort forth because the payoff is huge, 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 huge. I know firsthand through a very painful journey many years ago. And I just got libraries of books and cassette tapes. And this is just in my home downstairs never mind upstairs in my office or my library in my company or my library uh, in the united states and my library that's in storage so it's just a never-ending uh discovery of feeling good feeling feeling very in the moment and very connected uh with what is uh, really real, not pie in the co- and, and the sky stuff. It's it's living into the moment. So I wish you a good day, wherever you are, a good week. Uh, and it's Peter Stone, and I just wanted to share a moment uh, to see if one person might benefit from this moment. And if there's more than one, well, wonderful. You can leave a comment down below. And, uh, you know, say hi. I'll say hi here. Uh, Alexandra and John. Hey, man. (laughs) Alexandra, lovely lady. And uh, I just want to say hi, and I'll say bye for now. You all have a wonderful day, no matter where you are in the world, unless it's night. See ya. Ah, Carla. I was just hanging up, but you can rewatch this anytime you want. And I'll be back a little later.